Dearly beloved, Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the last chapter of Mark, our Lord promises, Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. And the Apostle Peter has written, Baptism now saves you. Amados, Cristo nuestro Señor dice en el último capítulo de San Mateo, Toda autoridad ha sido dado en el cielo y en la tierra. Por tanto, vayan y hagan discípulos en todas las naciones, bautizándonos en el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. En el último capítulo de San Marcos, el Señor promete, El que cree y sea bautizado se salvará. Y el apóstol Pedro ha escrito, El bautismo ahora nos salva. The Word of God also teaches that we are all conceived and born sinful and are under the power of the devil until Christ claims us as his own. We would be lost forever unless delivered from sin, death, and everlasting condemnation. But the Father of all mercy and grace has sent his Son, Jesus Christ, who atoned for the sin of the whole world, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. La Palabra de Dios también nos enseña que todos nosotros somos concebidos y nacidos en pecado y que estamos bajo el poder del diablo hasta que Cristo nos reclame como suyos. Estaremos perdidos para siempre si no fuéramos librados del pecado, la muerte y la condenación eterna. Pero el Padre de toda piedad y gracia ha enviado a su Hijo Jesucristo que expió los pecados del mundo eterno para que el que cree en él no se pierda, sino que tenga vida eterna. How are you named? Athena, Sarah, Athena, receive the sign of the cross upon your forehead and upon your heart to mark you as one redeemed by Christ the crucified. Luna, receive the sign of the cross upon your head and upon your chest to mark you as one redeemed by Christ the crucified. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, according to your strict judgment, you condemned the unbelieving world through the flood. Yet according to your great mercy, you preserved the believing Noah and his family, eight souls and all. You drowned far tarnished Pharaoh and all his folks in the Red Sea, yet led your people through, led your people Israel through the water on dry ground, foreshadowing this washing of your holy baptism. Through the baptism in the Jordan of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you sanctified and instituted all waters to be a blessed flood and a lavish washing away of sin. We pray that you would behold Athena and Luna according to your boundless mercy and bless them with true faith by the Holy Spirit, that through this saving flood, all sin in them, which has been inherited from Adam, and which they themselves have committed sins, would be drowned and die. Grant that they be kept safe and secure in the holy ark of the Christian church, being separated from the multitude of unbelievers and serving your name at all times with a fervent spirit and a joyful hope, so that with all believers in your promise, they would be declared worthy of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Oremos. Todo el poderoso y eterno Dios, de acuerdo con tu justicia estricto, te condenaste al mundo en Pedro a través del diluvio. Sin embargo, de acuerdo con su gran misericordia, conservaste al creyente Noé y a su familia, ocho personas en total. Tú ahogaste el, el, el enderecido faraón en todo su ejército, en el rap, el mar rojo. Lavaste a tu, llevaste a tu pueblo Israel a través de las aguas sobre suelo seco, preciando así este lavamiento de tu santo bautismo a través del bautismo de tu amado Hijo, nuestro Señor Jesucristo, en el Jordán, hasta santificado y instituido toda agua para que sea un diluvio bendecido y un lavamiento abundante de pecado. Oramos para que mires a Athena y a Luna de acuerdo con tu misericordia sin límites y que la bendigas con verdadera fe por el Espíritu Santo. 
para que a través de este diluvio de salvación todo pecado en ella que ha sido herido de Adán y que ellas mismas ha cometido se ha ahogado y muera. Concede que ellas sean conservadas y aseguras en esta santa alma de la iglesia cristiana siendo apartados de la multitud de incrédulos y que sirvan en tu nombre en todo tiempo con espíritu creciente y con alegría esperando a fin de que junto con todos los que creen en tu promesa ellas sean declaradas dignas de la vida eterna por medio de tu Hijo Jesucristo nuestro Señor From ancient times, the church has observed the custom of appointing sponsors for baptismal candidates and catechumens. In the Evangelical Lutheran Church, sponsors are to confess the faith expressed in the Apostles' Creed and taught in the small catechism. They are, whenever possible, to witness the baptism of those they sponsor. They are to pray for them, sponsor them, support them in their ongoing instruction and nurture in the Christian faith, and encourage them toward the faithful reception of the Lord's Supper. They are at all times to be examples to them of holy life, of faith in Christ, and love for the neighbor. Is it your intention to serve Athena and Luna as sponsors in the Christian faith? God enable you all to do this faithful and loving work, with his grace fulfill what we are unable to do. Amen. Hear the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. They brought young children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked those who brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was greatly displeased and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands on them, and bless them. This is the word of the Lord. Escuchan el Santo Evangelio según San Marcos. Llevaron unos niños a Jesús para que los tocara, pero los discípulos reprendieron a quienes los habían llevado. Al ver esto, Jesús se indignó y les dijo, Dejen que los niños se acerquen a mí, no se los impidan, porque el reino de, de Dios es de los que son como ellos. De cierto les digo que el que no reciba el reino de Dios como un niño no entrará en él. Entonces Jesús tomó a los niños en sus brazos, puso sus manos sobre ellos y se los bendijo. Esta es la palabra del Señor. Yeah. We pray the Lord's Prayer. Oremos el Padre nuestro. Our Father, Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado sea. Congregation, please be seated. <clears throat> and I will be asking these questions to the sponsors, the godparents, as well as the parents. And this sometimes is confusing for a lot of people because um, of our logic and our reason. We would think, why would the parents respond for the children? Because the children should be older when they're baptized so that they can respond for themselves. But why is it that we only apply that type of thinking to God's house, but not to giving them shelter, not to giving them clothes, not to giving them food? We don't say, well, wait till you're old enough to buy your own clothes, to buy your own food, but we give it to them. And so it is with God's gifts. As parents, we want to bring God's good gifts to our children. And so it's only to the end of Mucha gente no entiende estas preguntas que voy a preguntar porque dicen, ¿por qué no esperas que un niño se crezca y ya, ahora cuando ya crecen van a entender? Pero ¿por qué aplicamos eso a la iglesia solamente? 
porque cuando, hay una, cuando tenemos una casa, lo decíamos a los niños, tienes que trabajar primeramente para vivir aquí. Y también con la ropa, con la comida, damos a los niños, porque sabemos que neces ellos necesitan. Entonces, con los regalos de Dios, queremos traer estas cosas a nuestros hijos también. Athena y Luna, do you renounce the devil? Do you renounce all his works? Do you renounce all his ways? Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. Yes. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last day. Yes, yes, I believe. Athena and Luna, do you desire to be baptized? Yes, I do. Athena, Atali, Rodriguez, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Receive this light, this burning light, to show that you have received Christ who is the light of the world. Live always in the light of Christ, and be ever watchful of his coming, that you may meet him with joy and enter with him into the marriage feast of the Lamb in his kingdom, which has no end. So what we try to do here at our church is we have this custom where we give the parents candles to show that they have received, the children have received Christ who is the light of the world. And every year, so today is, I don't even know if today's date, the 5th? November 4th, thank you. So every November 4th, they can relight these candles with their children. And they can read the scriptures that talk about God's gifts being given to them. And they can sing baptismal hymns with Olivia. We sing, uh, let's see if she remembers. Olivia, what's your favorite hymn? Do you remember? What is it called? That's right, God's Own Child. So that's the last hymn that we will sing today. God's own child, I gladly he saved. I am baptized into Christ. So that way you teach the children that they are baptized. And there's one baptism. 
They don't need another baptism because God's gifts have been given to them. Entonces nosotros tenemos esta costumbre que damos estas velas a los padres y queremos que los padres prendan estas velas cada año a celebrar el bautismo de los niños. Y pueden leer las escrituras que hablan del bautismo, que han recibido el perdón de los pecados del Espíritu Santo. Y también que pueden cantar himnos de la iglesia, como el himno favorito de mi, de mi hija es Soy bautizado en Cristo. Y cantamos eso todo el tiempo en la casa. Que pueden recordar que solamente hay un bautismo. No necesitan otros bautismos porque ya han recibido los dones de Dios. We continue on in the middle of page 10. In holy baptism, God the Father has made you members of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and heirs with us all of the treasures of heaven in the one holy Christian apostolic church. We receive you in Jesus' name as our sisters in Christ, that together we may hear His word, receive His gifts, and proclaim the praises of Him who called us out of darkness into His marvelous light. Amen. We welcome you in the name of the Lord. En el Santo Bautismo, Dios el Padre nos ha hecho miembros de su Hijo, nuestro Señor Jesucristo, herederos de todos los tesoros del cielo en la única y santa iglesia cristiana y apostólica. Recibimos en el nombre de Jesucristo a, nuestros, a nuestras hermanas en Cristo, para que juntos podamos oír su palabra, recibamos sus dones. Y proclamemos las virtudes de aquel que nos ha sacado, sacado de las señales a su luz admirable. Amén. Damos la bienvenida en el nombre del Señor. We stand for prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God and Father, we thank and praise you that you graciously preserve and enlarge your family and have granted Athena and Luna the new birth and holy baptism and made them a member of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and heirs of your heavenly kingdom. We humbly implore you that as they have now become your children, you would keep them in their baptismal grace, that according to your good pleasure, they may faithfully grow to lead a godly life to the praise and honor of your holy name. And finally, with all your saints, obtain the promised inheritance in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Oremos. Todo poderoso y misericordioso Dios y Padre, te agradecemos y alabamos, porque con tu gracia conservas y expandes a tu familia, y ahora y les has concedido a Tina y a Luna el nuevo nacimiento en el Santo Bautismo, y les ha hecho miembros de tu Hijo, nuestro Señor Jesucristo, y heredes del reino que es tu reino. Te imploramos por mi ley, y ahora que se han hecho sus hijas, les guardes en la gracia bautismal para que según su buena voluntad puedan crecer tiernamente a fin de, de llevar una vida cuidadosa para alabanza y honra a su santo nombre. Y finalmente obtenga junto con todos sus santos la herencia prometida en el cielo, por medio de Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Peace be with you. La paz del Señor sea con ustedes. We welcome Luna and Athena to the family of God.